Hey, they're tennis parents, tennis kids. This is Julie Sawyer, tennis coach here in Fort Mill, former Division I athlete at Clemson University and Hall of Fame player. And I've got an amazing story for you. Parents, this is, I think, inspiring just as much as for you, but also for your kids. And so this could be a great tennis bedtime story I'm getting ready to tell you that will inspire your child to do more than they ever thought they could do. So I'm going to tell you the story of E.G. Maybanks. So when I first started playing tennis, I, I got off to a running start. I loved playing tennis, and so my parents enrolled me in initially in, in a tennis tournament that was local. But then very soon after that, I, got, I was enrolled by my parents in a local, my very first USTA tennis tournament. And you know that that's a big deal. If you play tennis, that's where the big dogs eat, basically. So my one of my first matches that I ever played was against E.G. Maybanks. And so kids, I don't know if you've been in a tennis tournament before, but E.G. Maybanks was my, my opponent. And so what happens when they call the names out for the two players that are getting ready to, they're getting ready to send them on the court, is they uh they call out the names and my last name was davis and of course eg's last name was maybanks so they said davis maybanks and um we had to find each other and go meet up to grab the balls to go on the court so eg maybanks was number one in the state at that time and i had already heard about how she had been playing tennis since she was four years old and i was <laughs> 13 years old and I had only been playing for like a year or two I was just getting started so that she was very intimidating to me but she came up to me and she looked at me and she was chewing gum and she was spinning a racket on her finger which I can't do right now and she looked down her nose at me and she said are you Davis and so she took me on the court and we warmed up and she treated me Basically, she was telling me, you know, come on, you little chump. Let's come on out here while I'll just proceed to whoop you, <laughs> you know, and get off the court as quickly as possible. And that's exactly what happened. E.G. Maybanks beat me 6-0, 6-0. That means I didn't win any games, and I probably won very few points. She had way more experience than me. It was a very intimidating experience, and but it was a learning experience. So I practiced every day. I mean, if I could tell you more about my workout routine on the court, but basically me and my brother worked very hard and we trained every day. And sure enough, I would run into at other tournaments that I didn't quit. I kept playing tennis and kept playing tournaments and was improving very rapidly. Um, but I would, if I came up against E.G. Maybanks, and like the next time I played her, I got two games off of her. And the next time I played her, I got four or five games off of her. I was closing the gap. And so eventually, you know, I started getting really close, but I was kind of losing uh, the, the, the big points, if you know what I'm talking about, to E.G. Maybanks. When it gets to deuce or it's add in, um, and so it became a mental battle. But the long and the short of it is that my dad started telling me, look, Julie, you know, you're better than her now. You know, you can do it. And so I had the support of an amazing coach named Sid who's in our area, a legendary coach, and I had the amazing support of my dad telling me he believed I was now better than E.G. Maybanks. And that was kind of hard for me. Um, I don't, if, if it wasn't for my dad, I don't think I would have ever thought I could beat E.G. Maybanks. But the, uh, to try to shorten it up a little bit, I'll tell you that my fifth time that I played E.G. Maybanks, I played her in my very first state championship final me versus E.G. Maybanks. And so it was about a year later when I played her for the fifth time. And that time in my very first state championship match at Belton, the Belton tournament in South Carolina, I beat E.G. Maybanks in the third set. And my, it was my first state title and it was my first time beating E.G. Maybanks. And it was an amazing, uh, amazing accomplishment and just an epic moment something to overcome so we, I overcame uh, the mental battle of not knowing if I could beat E.G. Maybanks and just um, overcame the stigma of 
you know, winning my first major tournament, at least locally, South Carolina-wise. So, kids, I hope that inspires you. And parents, I also hope that inspires you to support your child and um, encourage them because we're our own worst critics and kids need lots of love and support, especially in tournament tennis because tournament tennis is a brutal, brutal environment. And so thanks for listening and uh, parents, just drop me a comment and let me know what you think about that story. Thanks. Bye.